The 2019 League of Legends World Championship was one of the biggest esports events of the year. It is the only tournament that brings all of the best teams from around the world to compete for their shot at claiming the throne for themselves and their region. In 2019, Fun Plus Phoenix became the second Chinese team to ever win the World Championship, shocking the world in the process. FPX entered the tournament as the top team to look out for. They were the number one seed coming out of China after a dominant year in the LPL, China's professional league. As China was the reigning world champion, FPX was well respected. Despite this respect, there were multiple questions many analysts had about their ability to emerge as champions. To begin with, the group that FPX was placed in was considered to be the weakest of the tournament. Despite this fact, they dropped two matches in the group stage and only barely took the top spot. This poor start immediately implied that while they had figured out how to beat other Chinese teams, they were going to struggle on the world stage. Furthermore, their AD carry, LWX, had a disastrous game on Kai'Sa that made it almost certain that they would be beaten by tougher competition. This prediction couldn't have been more wrong. Once the knockout stage of the tournament began, FBX found their groove. Their unorthodox style made it very difficult for teams to pick and ban against them, and most were utterly unprepared for their style of play. Picks like Nautilus Mid were something their opponents were unable to practice against because nobody knew how to utilize them as well as Doinby, the FPX mid laner. In combination with their jungler, Tien, this duo was able to completely control the map and pace of play in almost every single match they played. Their first victory was decisive. They made quick work of Fnatic in the quarterfinals, winning 3-1. In the semifinals, they had to defeat last year's world champion and the only other remaining Chinese team in the tournament, Invictus Gaming. This was the first series that was thought to be a true test for FPX. Although Invictus had looked shaky throughout the LPL season, the incredible strength of their solo lanes were always a threat to run away with the match. Invictus had also been looking better and better over the course of the tournament. Despite the obvious advantage Invictus had in mechanical skill over their FPX counterparts, FPX was able to completely bewilder Invictus. They caused them to make many confusing and subpar decisions. This resulted in another 3-1 victory. And although it was certainly more tightly contested than the series against Fnatic, FPS was clearly the better team overall. Now only one thing stood between FPX and the World Championship, G2 Esports. G2 was regarded by analysts everywhere as the strongest team in the world and the favorite to win the title of World Champion. Predictions for the final series were almost unanimously in favor of G2, but the entire world was in for a surprise. This final series proved to be the most anticlimactic of the entire tournament. FPX absolutely dominated the finals, sweeping G2 3-0. This result shocked the world and made China back-to-back -back champions in the process. FPX was able to redefine how people think about League of Legends. This is specifically true about Doinby and his play in the mid lane. His unique playstyle and champion pool revolutionized the way people think about how that lane can and should function. His performance will impact the future of professional play for years to come. While FPX was a strong team with a great reputation heading into the tournament, few expected them to defeat G2 and win the entire thing. This surprising outcome made 2019 one of the most memorable world championships in all of League of Legends history.